Yo, what is up guys? Oscar here with a new video. And this is going to be discussing uh, the Washington football team's day four uh, in training camp yesterday. I apologize for not posting it yesterday. It's just that uh, I had to uh, take, you know, I went to a wedding um, yesterday and I thought that I would be back in time to, um, oh, sorry about that, my phone went off, um, you know, back in time to record my reaction, but I didn't count on being as exhausted as I was. So, um, let's go ahead and let's talk about training camp day four. Some notes that I picked up from both Rianne and Walker and, uh, Zach Selby, um, you know, I'm just going to be paraphrasing certain things, you know, because I want to make this video quick because, again, training camp was yesterday and um, I really didn't have time to, like, make uh, notes yesterday or today. Um, so, really, honestly, yesterday was a, was a showcase for Landon Collins, um, Dax Milne, and DeAndre Carter, uh, and also Ryan Fitzpatrick here and there had um you know was gaining some connection with logan thomas logan thomas heads up guys expect logan thomas's targets to go up with ryan fitzpatrick if he gets the starting job just because logan thomas or ryan fitzpatrick loves to hit you know loves to throw to his tight end so we'll have to wait and see you know i can't wait to see that connection more often um, Dex Milne had a few catches here and there. Um, DeAndre Carter trying to make it here and there. So my thing is, I honestly don't see these guys making, you know, as a, as a receiving core roster. But I think that these guys, um, in Dex Milne and in DeAndre Carter, they're actually battling for, for punt return and kickoff return duties, really. Uh, Dax Milne may have a future at being a slot guy in the future, maybe, if Adam Humphreys isn't the guy and if he doesn't pan out this year. But we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, those, those guys were showcasing their skills today. Their, the defense was mostly uh, the active, um, were, were the most active today. You know, there were certain sacks here and there. Um, you know, batted passes. Landon Collins picked off Ryan Fitzpatrick. Um, once, and then he had another pick six, I think, on Taylor Heineke, and then also T uh, Casey Tuhill also had another interception that was tipped, but I think Chase Young and or Montez Sweat, and then T T Casey Tuhill just took it to the house. It was a uh, fan appreciation day yesterday, really. So we got you know Tanya Snyder was in the you know in attendance. Um, you know, Ron Rivera and uh, Taylor Ter Terry McLaurin, I think Chase Young were, were speaking to the media as well. So, or not speaking to the media, but speaking to the fans, you know, hyping up the crowd there. Um, some other notes that are really concerning, really, um, you know, more players are getting into the COVID protocol. You know, uh, what I'm hearing is that Ron Rivera is not pleased with what is going on. With um, you know COVID protocols, you know, you know players on Washington, I think is one of the you know they're you know not getting the vaccine. You know I'm not gonna touch more on that. You know because it's it's a personal choice. You know to each their own if they want to get the vaccine or not. But you know you just gotta continue to be safe, man or or gentlemen. You know you guys can't be like risking each other because Brandon Sheriff, um, he was there, but then he didn't participate, you know, it was mostly, um, Wes Schweitzer, um, Eric Flowers, Sadiq Charles, you know, all, all those guys, you know, they, you know, cause right now Cornelius Lucas, Brandon Sheriff and David Sharp are, you know, the player, you know, are the offensive linemen that are in the COVID protocols. There are also others like Curtis Samuel, and others on that protocol. So these players just got to be safe. You know, if you don't want to take the vaccine, you know, that that's on you, you know, again, to each their own, but got to continue to be safe. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But it's really concerning that, you know, all these players, because these are main guys, you know, right now, you know, hopefully these guys are good to go um, week one. Um, who knows? We'll have to wait and see because, you know, the, the COVID-19, you know, reacts to, 
each individual differently. So hopefully these guys are, you know, back and healthy within 10 to 14 days. We'll have to wait and see. Um, I remember when I caught COVID earlier this year, I, I was, you know, out of, I was MIA for like a week or two. And then when I did post videos, I was just out of breath. Like I was really, you know, exhausted and really out of breath. So, um, anyways, um, that's what I'm going to touch on, on that, you know, um, hopefully that these guys are okay. You know, like I said, Brandon Sheriff, um, you know, he, you know, being a mentor to Samuel Cosby and all those, we're, we're, we got to see what happens there. We just struck it as odd because at the beginning, you know, he was nowhere to be seen and the media was like, we don't know where he is. And then we find out that he has, um, you know, he tested positive for the virus. So, and, and of course, Ron Rivera was saying that, you know, he was not pleased, um, from what I heard yesterday. And, you know, some play, you know, he said that he would talk to some players today. I heard that some players are, were looking to get the vaccine today, but you know, because they got the virus, I think they have to wait, but we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But, um, already that is yesterday guys was the last, uh, day in Richmond so the rest of the training camp will be behind closed doors or back in Ashburn, whatever, um, you know, it's going to be in Ashburn. So um, let's see what happens throughout the rest of the days of training camp. I really can't wait for the preseason to see a lot of, of these guys more in action and me watching, you know, football. I can't, I, I am loving that football is back. Um, so that'll do it for this video, guys. Until then, keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.